Do you suffer from a chronically low battery? I do. And I got the battery replaced when it was allowed, or whatever you call it. <sighs> but man, I mean, I guess at least we're in quarantine, so it can always be uh, charging, but it's really annoying me. The best thing about being a teacher, aside from getting letters like this, is summer's off. Getting your contract and then summer's off. <sighs> we made it. So they let us come in to clean out our classroom. So I thought I would just show you what where I used to work. I'm in the process right now of packing up anything I might need for next year just in case and sort of doing the closet clean out. Eric, is this yours? I miss you. It's so eerie. There's nobody else here. Step one. Go on vacation without leaving your house for at least two weeks. During that time, you'll build your plan and that's it. You're done. To my kids who are my only real subscribers, I love you. <laughs> Y'all taught me a lot this year. I, I'm not witnessed in my lifetime, at least at a point when it resonated with me. But I was just thinking earlier too about these kids and how they have such major issues mounted on their shoulders. So it's raining right now and I keep trying to record it. It's pretty hard to record thunder the moment it happens. It's pretty instantaneous. You kind of got to live in the moment with it, but it is in the background right now. And this is one of the things I missed about the East Coast. I love a summer thunderstorm. It comes, it cools everything down. Um, so I have 18 subscribers now, and uh, that's cool. It's June 4th. So I got like three th three subscribers this week. Um, so if we multiply that out, um, just a second. Okay, future Jessica, I apologize, but we're just gonna record this as I do the math on my phone. So we have 100 subscribers. No, we don't have 100 subscribers. We want, that's our first goal, we want 100. So we have 100, we subtract 18, because that's what we currently have on June the 4th, which leaves us with, we need 82 more. So this week we had three. So if I divide 82 by three, it's gonna take like 27 weeks to hit my goal. Not terrible, but daunting. 
I don't think I really care. I think I'm just like, like this medium yet again. But the, it's really bad today, huh? Now, perks of the forced mask wearing is that it tends to cover all my allergic parts. So, little trick of the trade. Are you hashtag allergic to everything? Wear a mask. Nobody will look at you different now. Seriously. Um, no, but part of the reason I'm allergic is like literally because I'm trying not to go to the grocery store in case they're still growing in my area like day after day. And so I'm literally trying not to do it. And I have broken down a few times and um, ordered food. And also because this is just like so hard. I'm just like here. It's just me. That's why I'm really glad I'm doing this channel because it's giving me an outlet for this. But it's like me and my puppy and the school year is ending in one week so after that um can you hear it it's rolling thunder i love it um yeah i don't know but three new subscribers thank you i'm really glad you're here So I'm coming on here very briefly because I have to get something off my chest. You know who you are and I just want to say thank you for being a person that I can say, hey, can you watch this thing I'm making? Because I want to make sure it goes out into the world the right way. Uh, I want to make sure I protect the people who need to be protected and I want to make sure that I'm coming across as myself and I need somebody who knows me to check that and maybe I just need you to read the words on the screen because um, I'm a little dyslexic, so. I don't know, I asked two of my oldest friends to help me out and to just watch this one video and I got the same reaction from both of them. And it's like, am I being recorded now? Was one of them and I'm so tired of hearing that. I'm not here exploiting people. This is just a space I'm using to go through this um, unimaginable time in our country. And so when I went to these people who I have known, I am a 35 year old woman and I have known them for since I was 10, so you do the math. But, um,. It was just so hurtful to get the same reaction from both of them. Like, it was so unexpected too, because I don't normally say, hey, can you look at my painting and tell me like, Ugh, is it okay to share it? I'm a pretty open book. Um, when it comes to this, and this time, this exact moment in our country, which is why I've decided to do this now, and which is driving me, to, driving me, which is driving me to do it now, is um, I just totally lost my train of thought. Anyway, I got my feelings hurt, and then I talked to this other friend, and they, before I even explained that story to them, they said, "Oh, send it to me. I want to see it." You know, before I even had to ask. Thank God for that. Thank goodness. Thank the universe for that. Um, one of the differences in California actually was, and I just realized this talking to that person who said that, um, one of the things in California was that for the first time in my whole life, I was just 100% like accepted as who I was, for who I was. And people loved me. And I loved them. And I loved myself more. Because I could be myself. And, you know, I'm in this transition of moving back to the East Coast and reacclimating with everybody. And I understand that older generations, like I understand my family having hesitations about me putting videos on YouTube and sharing them 
you know, on other platforms. But I go into this very consciously and I go into it very carefully. So you viewer, if you ever see anything inappropriate, if you ever see anything that you don't think should be represented, comment down below. And better yet, just text me because I'm pretty sure you know me. Um, and the other thing, the other resource that I realized is that I have my kids watching. So I asked them in our last Zoom class if they would do me one, one more favor before the end of the year and if they could just watch the video that I'm putting up tomorrow, which I am currently about to start. Um, try not start, try to finish editing. I've been editing this for days and um, it's over five years. It's over five years of work on this topic that means so much to me. So I am very grateful to have people who are willing to look at the work that I put out into the world and who are willing to give me feedback. I always tell my kids it's important. Critiquing is important. And then it's up to me if I agree with you or not. You know, I'm the creator. So I want your feedback. But more importantly, in this particular video, I want to make sure that I am expressing myself appropriately because it's a serious, serious um, subject matter. And I want to make sure that I'm protecting everybody who's in the video. And I want it to be as solid as possible because I believe I can make a difference with it. And I know that sounds strange. It sounds strange for me to say, but maybe it doesn't sound strange to you, but it sounds strange to me because this has been something in my back pocket for so many years that I've just been, um, you know, marinating in my brain. And um, it's finally coming to life. And I think I would bargain to say that this is the most it is the most, the most important piece of work that I have ever made. And if you know anything about me, well, mostly my kids are subscribing, so guys, you don't realize um, how much I've made in my lifetime. <laughs> I have made so many things in my lifetime um, that I can't even store it all where I live. Okay, so a lot of it's living in my mom's. But I might have thought that hashtag allergic to everything, the cookbook was, I did. And, and I, I stand by it myself at that time. That was the most important project of my lifetime. And it's still one of them. And it's going to come out. And I, Failing a Kickstarter takes a really long time to get back up from, especially when you raise over $31,000 and get nothing. Um, and you put 30,000 of your own money into, you know, the pot to try to make it happen. So that was, you know, I've mentioned that, but, and that was important work and it is important work and that's why it's still on my project list and that's why it's still a summer goal. Um, but this little video is everything that I stand for. It's everything that I stand for. And I, I don't want to accept, oh, it's okay, you made a mistake, that's embarrassing. Uh, no, I want the video, which I think is actually gonna have to be a series of three videos. We have slow attention, or um, many of us have short attention spans these days, so. I'm thinking 20 minutes and I have over an hour right now and I have to add in the rest of the footage. But um, I've made a lot of things in my life and this is the most important one. So whenever you're watching this, a week from now probably, the video will have been posted and I'm sure it has racism in the title somewhere but I haven't come up with exactly what I'm going to call it except um, 
we will also have your life matters somewhere in that title because your life matters but if you have a few minutes in quarantine where we all have extra minutes in our days and you're not my best friends from childhood if you wouldn't mind and if you have the time if you'd watch my video i'll link it here or here i don't know yet <laughs> i don't know how this i'm learning about cards too anyway i'll put a card somewhere above my head here and uh I'll also link it at the end of this video, but if you would give it a watch and give me your feedback, the most important thing to me is that out of it comes a conversation. So I just want to know your thoughts and I want to make sure that I'm communicating my thoughts in a way that they're able to be heard. I hope that makes sense. Okay, I have to start working I also cleaned out my classroom today so everything's down there but um, I have given Katie a, a special treat she's got her bones so hopefully I can get some work done 